Parts of Maryland are under a tropical storm warning right now. Isaias is sending strong waves crashing onto the rocks along the Florida coast. As the system tracks northward, it's causing high surf and gusty winds. Some oceanfront homes on Jupiter Island like this one take a beating. Good evening, I'm Rachel Carden. Tonight, ESAES expected to continue to scrape up the East Coast after pounding the Bahamas and hitting Puerto Rico. It left more than 300,000 people without power at its peak. You can see this person walking through a flooded street and the water there is right above their ankles. Lightning lit up the sky at another home and high winds whipped through the streets, pushing palm trees. Let's go now to meteorologist Chelsea Ingram with the latest on the storm's path. Chelsea. Hey, Rachel. Hello, everyone. Let's start you out with where things stand right now with the storm. We'll take you to graphics and show you that currently the maximum sustained winds are around 70 miles per hour. And Isaias is expected to continue to track up along the eastern seaboard, and it's going to be bringing dangerous tropical storm conditions, storm surge, flash flooding, and very strong winds with it as it makes its way on to the north. So here's a look at the latest track. I do anticipate that it'll likely make landfall somewhere along the Carolinas, perhaps even as far northward as Myrtle Beach. We'll keep a close eye on that. Otherwise, it has the potential of moving right up along the Chesapeake Bay and bringing with it the potential for some tropical storm force winds. The higher likelihood is going to be for areas south and east, so from Salisbury, say, to Ocean City. We do have a tropical storm watch that is in place for the I-95 urban corridor and for areas south and east. For localized storm surge up to around two feet, this could all be possible within 48 hours, flooding tropical downpours and also tropical storm force winds. Now we have tropical storm warnings now in effect from Cambridge to Ocean City, but perhaps the bigger story for us in central Maryland will be the wind driven rain, tropical downpours anywhere from three to six inches, and that high probability of some flash flooding. I'm also tracking a couple of storms that are moving through this evening and tonight. We'll talk about that in the full forecast, which is coming up in just a few minutes. Rachel. Thanks, Chelsea. Be sure to stay with WJZ as we track ESAES and how it could impact us with the largest weather team in town. We'll bring you information you can count on. Baltimore Mayor Jack Young is asking city residents to prepare for the tropical storm, and he says the city will be helping out. Now, Young says because of the chance for flooding along the harbor, people should move their cars to higher ground. Now, the city will offer free parking at the Caroline Street Garage and the Fleet and Eden Garage in Fells Point starting at noon tomorrow. The city will also be providing sandbags to residents tomorrow from 930 to 4 at the intersection of Thames and Broadway. Residents must bring identification and it'll be limited to 10 bags each. We have all the information available for you on WJZ.com.